Okay, let us read together. Blessing of Christ through mending broken relationship. Whoever listens to you, listen to me. Whoever rejects you, reject me. But whoever rejects me, reject him who sent me. God is both author and revenger of his holy ministry. Uh, Luke chapter 10 verse 16 uh, always reminds me my first blessing during Christmas. Uh, during high school days, I was a disobedient um, church member, disobedient the Christian, nominal Christian. I never imagined to become a church minister, to become a preacher, servant. I just do, I just do my best. I used to do my best to make myself successfully. I dreamed to become an ambassador, diplomat. That's why I spent a lot of time to study English. But uh, I have no relationship with God. That's why for two years before entering into university, I suffered heavy trouble, kidney trouble for two years. And then uh, it was one month ahead of an entrance exam in university. I was supposed to study. Uh, every, every day a lot, but uh, I wasn't able to study anymore because of my body became very weak. I, I was not able to continue my study more than one hour. Thought, only 30 minutes I can focus on reading book. And then after, 40, after 31 to oh, one hour, the, I became dizzy. I cannot focus my mind. At the time, my the hometown church announced uh, we are going to have revival meeting. So he introduced revival list. So I desired to experience miraculous healing in the name of Jesus. So I attended. Instead of going to the library, I just attended sit in front of the row. And then I observed many church members got healed miraculously, except me. Whenever the, the, the evangelist pray for the sick people by lay hands, everybody experienced healing except me. So I began to think what happened to me, well, what, what is my problem? And then on the final evening, final session, I heard this Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Whoever listens to you, listens to you, you as pastor, evangelist, listens to me, Jesus. Whoever rejects you, pastor, reject me. Uh, I was convicted slightly. Uh, did I reject any advice of pastor? I, in my mind, I always said yes. But the, the speaker added one more word. Even you do not accept, oh, God told me through the wife of pastor because wife of pastor keep accusing me, keep inviting me, uh, Mr. Tan, please do the uh, priest to Sunday school ministry. So I explain, oh, Mom, I'm very busy preparing entrance examination, so uh, I'm not available. I smile. Uh, when I enter into the college, then I'm 
going to start my Sunday school ministry. I rejected three times, three times. First day high school, second day high school, third day high school, every, every year during Christmas season. Because during Christmas season, many children increase double. You know, many children uh, go to ch church because they're expecting uh, sweeties, bread, many candies. Mr. An, please come to the church. You, know, you may prepare any secular story also for children, but I reject it politely. And then I begin to pray, Lord, heal me. Why don't you heal me? You listen to, you healed others except me. But the Holy Spirit began to speak to me in my heart. I'm very busy, you know? <laughs> I'm also very busy. I'm too busy to take care of you. In that way, I began to think, ah, God commanded me to take care of little children on behalf of Jesus Christ. But I said, uh, I'm very busy. I'm not available. I'm too busy to take care of children. That's why God seems to answer me. Don't you know I'm very busy. I must take care of the whole world. I'm too busy to take care of you. So that was my first repentance. I began to change my mind. And then I visited. Uh, I met uh, Mrs. Uh, Song, the wife of senior pastor. Mom, I have decided to join Sunday School Ministry. And then she, she was all smiling, welcomed me, and then added one more word. Now we are preparing Christmas cantata. Ten apart, ten apart member is lucky. Why don't you join? Ten apart uh, church choir member. And then it means I became very busy in having church ministry. If you are the choir member in Korean church, uh, you must attend all regular service. Ap because after regular service, they practice 30 minutes or one hour for practice choir. So even Wednesday, you must go to church. Even Sunday evening, you must go to church. Morning, afternoon, afternoon for children ministry, evening, because evening worship, we attend the choir practice. That's why I must devote my precious hour to do church ministry. And then, but you don't, uh, blessed moment for me. Because I obeyed for two weeks. For two weeks of obedience, I began to free from all pains in my body. And then I prayed to God, Lord, I have no time. I have no enough time to prepare the entrance examination. So please give me special wisdom. Please give me the same special wisdom you gave to King Solomon. So whatever I read, let me remember all the content. I, I really prayed from my true heart. Then I found that God gave me special wisdom. So I, I have read 10 pages and then stopped and then I began to try to remember the content. Oh, I was able to remind all the content. So I believe that God gave me special wisdom as God gave King Solomon. So my, uh, my study continued. So during Christmas season, I got experienced miraculous healing on my body. I got experienced uh, wonderful wisdom from God. Uh, that was my Blessed Christmas in the year of 19, 
79, Blessed Christmas. So for me, eh, by repenting, by mending my in attitude, wrong attitude, I enjoy, I welcome Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. Uh, look at the photo. What do you see? The left side, right side. Left side, cow. Right side, donkey. Huh? Because Jesus was born, uh, you know, was a lying manger. So he, uh, this is a cave of Bethlehem. All, almost every people that used to live in the winter used to live in the cave. Entrance portion uh, for cattle. Deep inside was another chamber the family member, human family members are residing. But entrance uh, is, is a stall. Uh, animal side, they staying there. And then they have another chamber, another chamber, big chamber. Uh, intentionally they chiseled out another cave. It's good. Uh, they uh, put all the sheep uh, to stay there. So it's like uh, uh, the rocky area, but the stones is um, like a Philippine. What kind of stone is it? Marble, marble stone. Marble. Huh? Kind of stone in Philippine. No, Many limes. Limestone. Limestone. What kind of stone are popular in Philippines? Cement. <laughs> huh? Cement. Granite stone? No? Huh? But the Philippine stone is a very soft one. It can chisel out. Israel also, the marble stone area. So as you enter into Bethlehem, you see half side of this chamber, or the same, the same side of this chamber is made. There's a natural cave or man-made cave because during winter season it's very warm and there's a protection. Even though there's no snowfall, but uh, uh, it's very warm. Now, intentionally, I introduced the cow because that there's a deeper intention of God. Why God allowed Jesus Christ was born and the first night stay inside the manger, beside the manger. Uh, because for God, it was convincing, he was comfortable to make his son lie down in safety. And then there's another reason. Next one. Oh, this is the cattle, in Hebrew behema, cattle. Cow, donkey. Uh, imagine how much donkey useful. Look at. Donkey, really useful, even today. Uh, cocoa lumber, cocoa lumbering, I know the lumbering, carrying lumbering, heavy lumbering, co the elephant, and then plowing, and then they are carrying cart, a very heavy cart. So I might say they are very uh, strong servant, reliable servant. And then this kind of servant, God made servant. God made this kind of the, the animal for human being. And they, they are always obedient. They are very much useful. And the God made for human being. It is written in the Genesis chapter 1 and 2. God created this kind of animal. Cattles. 
Uh, they are eating grass, okay? Domesticated cattle, they are eating grass. They are obedient. They will complain. They will butt against the, they will butting against the uh, human being. And then symbolically, Jesus, Jesus stayed safely in this main, in this stall beside the manger. Oh, it is very much symbolic. Uh, when it comes to church ministry, we must have this kind of attitude. I do not worship the elephant, I do not worship the cow, but the Indians, they worship cows, they worship elephant, they are deified beings. Uh, maybe they are so much useful, so much helpful. So they begin to think they are God. But uh, they are the hands of God. God reached out his helping hand for human beings. So that's the reason of existing this kind of useful cattle. And then uh, Jesus on first Christmas granted this kind of uh, place beside the useful servant. Okay, next page. I, I should to see the beautiful anemone, beautiful flower anemone in the center, lily on the right side. Canary, Filipino flower, Filipino flower, because it blew me in my side, cotton wool. Hmm. Anemone, they bloom this beautifully once a year. Once a year after, right after winter season, very cold winter season, before winter season, they suffered seven months long dry season. Seven months long dry season, they stay underground. Two spans deep underground. That's the way they can be survived. They're not dried up. And then on the winter season, uh, November, December, January, February, around four months long they hibernate, they stay safely on the ground. After that, the after first spring rain shower, they, they begin to grow very fast, they begin to bloom beautifully in this way. Uh, so we enjoy looking at beautiful flowers, smelling um, the fragrant scent, but uh, we must understand uh, they, they, in, they endured all kinds of trials, all kinds of problems. Okay? Even though they suffered trials, dry season, winter season, but they were not able to bloom in the beautiful flower. Uh, it, they teaches us a spiritual lesson. Even grass, even plant, even animals, God gave them the power to endure hardships, to endure troubles, and then they continue doing their own mission. Flowers, they do their mission. Animals, they do their mission. They, we, human beings, we servant of the Lord, uh, can be strengthened by the answer of the prayer, by the power of the Spirit of God. We can be blooming, we can be used by God. So in that way, uh, we must change our mind. 
who can enjoy uh, Merry Christmas? Who can enjoy Happy Christmas? The one who endure problems, hardships. Okay, next page. Yes, we had already go. As Christ was sent by the Father, so were they his apostles and representatives of the Father. So anyone who entertained kindly or treat with hospitality, his disciples should not fail of proper reward. To receive in the name of a prophet is to receive as a prophet. I respected Mrs. Sangshil Song the wife of senior pastor as servant of the Lord and I experienced beautiful blessing during Christmas season in the year of 1979. Okay, next one. Let us see it together. Ready go. Whoever welcomes apostles or prophet a righteous man, a little one, and listen to them, listen to the voice of Jesus Christ and of God the Father and Himself, and they will make their abode with Jesus. Uh, this afternoon I must remember what happened in Alcantara, Cebu Island, 33 years ago. At the time I was a very young a missionary, but there is a one beautiful Filipina. Her name is Deborah. Um, Deborah happened to attend the revival meeting led by Korean missionaries. At the time, the, her husband was in abroad. She, her husband was a seaman abroad. But she attended revival meeting. And then, uh, as Korean speaker placed his hand over her head, she fall down. You know, have you ever listened to? When the, the Christian disciple placed their hands over the sick people, the sick people fall down. They fall down. It's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. They fall down. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, fall down. And then uh, they feel comfort, they experience healing. When they got up, they are freed from long suffering diseases. And she was the one who experienced miraculous healing. And uh, that experience made her devoted. She went back to home place, Alcantara, and she began to share gospel. What happened to Deborah? Deborah experienced the mighty healing of Jesus Christ. Then she began to organize Bible study gathering. The Bible study gathering developed into the home church, home, uh, home place, Alcantara. So she, she offered her money. Money came from her husband. She built up a very simple worship place. And she announced and she made a schedule to have a special Christmas celebration. And she invited me as a main speaker. And then uh, all the, the village members listened to Korean pastor, Pastor An. Pastor An is coming. And she announced, I had uh, experienced this kind of wonderful blessing. I experienced miraculous healing. By their, through their mission the group. And uh, there was a two roads, old road and new road. Old road travel, must travel around three hours travel. But new road, new way, uh, one and a half is enough. So the Morning worship supposed to start nine o'clock. I was supposed to arrive there one hour ahead of nine o'clock. So at least I must arrive there 
8 o'clock. So I left my house around 6 o'clock a.m. But in the, in the midst of the, the way, I inquired to make sure which way is going to Alcantara. And then one, the Cebu City people mis misguided me. He guided me to old way. I, I, do, I did not know there are two ways, old way and new way. I got information from Deborah, new way. It takes within one and a half hour. But I did not know the old way, how long does it take? Keep going, enter through the forest, enter through the hilly place. Keep riding, keep riding. No Alcantara. So from time to time, I question, is the right way I'm going to Alcantara? Everybody say, yes, it's the right way. But it's, it's the old way. I realize it's the old way. So, yeah, already nine o'clock had passed. And then, you know, crossing the Seb Island is a very hilly area. The road is very rough. And then, you know, Whenever I'm passing through the forest, I encountered many of the mountain people. They are carrying bullo, jungle, jungle life. I got scared. <laughs> I began to pray, Lord. And everybody, uh, we, are, we are passing through all the way. Everybody began to pray together. And then when I arrived there, 10 o'clock, one hour late already. So I, I began to feel strong shame. I was guided wrong way, all the way. Uh, it's understandable. And then uh, I said, can I preach? Because I feel shame. Why not? All day long is yours. But I wasn't able to preach. In Philippines, I used to preach around 40 minutes, or sometimes if it is a long one hour. But I wasn't able to make a long preaching, so I finished my preaching within 15 minutes, very short message. I invited anyone, anyone have a sickness come forward. We must be healed from sickness. Then we can enjoy uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Joyful Christmas. At that time, around, around 500 people gathered there. I imagine around 10 or 20 people come forward for getting prayer. But it was amazing. 500 people all fall in line. It's too long. So make another line. Honey, my wife, honey, you, you pray or you take care of one other one line. It's too long. So I made another line. Another pastor, missionary candidate, uh, take care of them. Another line. So full in line, it's so very long. All people, all Varangai people gather together. So in what happened, I began to pray for them by their hands. I was about to lay, put my hands over their head. The people began to fall down. Began to fall down. Three person fall down together, five person fall down together. All of them experience mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit. So it became a happy Christmas, joyful Christmas. I cannot forget Alcantara miracle. Alcantara, for me, it was Alcantara anointing. And then I began to think, what could be the condition to experience that kind of uh, mighty anointing? Because it was the first time, it was the first time and the last time. For me, it was unique experience. So I began to try to analyze what could be the condition to enjoy that kind of uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, because of Deborah. Filipino, the layman pastoral, Deborah, 
She shared her testimony. She shared the power of living God, living Jesus Christ. And then uh, she invited me during Christmas season. Then she shared why she was receiving Korean missionary prayer. I fall down and I experience miraculous healing. So, so that became a, a kind of the structure, a kind of the, the blessing structure in the mind of all Akantara people. So they expected mighty healing when I placed my hand over them. So they, they are desiring, they are expecting as Sister Deborah experienced. And then another, another the element of the miracle. They announced they're supposed to start the worship at nine o'clock, so but the people, eight o'clock, they already gathered together, so they had to start worship, praise and worship, eight o'clock. So one hour, they kept uh, praise and worship continually, expecting, waiting for our visit. But I would not appear because of that. I chose all the way, so they encouraged. They are coming. They surely they are coming. So continual praise and worship continued and pray one hour more for two hours. You know, Filipino style, keep standing, keep singing. Uh, they got tired, their hunger and thirst for uh, silly pastor art. <laughs> Why are you here to choose all the way? Even though the sister Deborah explained every new way. But I forgot them. But they keep, even though I made a big mistake, okay, but she understand me. She has a forgiving heart, welcoming heart. All church members, they're willing to uh, stay with her together. That's why I, I recognize, oh, they are kept standing for two hours. So I must finish my message within 15 minutes. So in, because of that, I hurriedly finished preaching. And then I spent for praying for the sick. But uh, that was the reason, no other way. So Akantara congregation, Christian group, uh, have forgiving heart, welcoming heart. And then, at the time, I was representing Jesus Christ. And then God concluded that Alcantara church members are worthy to experience exceptional, exceptional anointing of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, that's the relationship. Uh, many times, uh, our relationships are broken. Senior, relationship between senior and junior, relationship between the minister and church member. Huh? But as they have humble heart, as they have welcoming heart, as they have the understanding heart, the Holy Spirit is willing to take us to represent the presence of Jesus Christ. Okay. okay, let us read one more time. Ready, go. Whoever welcomes the apostles, a prophet, a righteous man, a little one, and listen to them, listen to the voice of Jesus Christ and of God the Father himself, and they will make their abode with Jesus. Oh, this is the foundation of Merry Christmas. So it is very simple. So God watching over my mindset, God watching over my heart, okay? Let us try to have the heart of Jesus Christ. Let us try to have the heart of cow or elephant or donkey. They are willing to serve others as we are willing 
As we are having willing attitude to serving others, to understanding others, welcome others, uh, then Jesus Christ is willing to bless us. May God bless you. May you have the joyful Christmas. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for encouraging us. Help us. Be with us. Stretch out your mighty hands. Help us to be a useful servant of you. In the name of Jesus, we cry.